the Go Daddy Go. knockout of the night. Here we go. From Studio City in Macau, China. One Super Series match under kickboxing's global rule set. Look out for the spinning hook kicks of Alan Gulani. Look out for those Dutch style low kicks on Tarek Kababe. Not clinching, okay? Go! You can see, Michael, he's doing exactly what you talked about. Galani's trying to create that space. Kababez is trying to close it and get nice and tight. But Galani's got to be careful of his not to drop his hands and leave them down around his waist because Kababez no. does have heavy artillery in the leather. Go! Let's see how quickly Galani can get used to the distance. Turning back into the liver of the Moroccan. Galani's trying to kick, but Kababez is trying to throw those hands. Galani gets underneath, Kababez throws a knee, completely legal, under the kickboxing rule set. Kababez comes forward again, Gut Muncher then went up to the jaw from Galani, throws the overhand right. Kababez trying to get in close to negate the spinning kicks of Galani. Look how low Galani's hands are. The big man's going to keep the gloves up. Kababez throws an uppercut. And Galani drifts off. Goes counterclockwise, staying out of the right hand and right kick range of Kababe. Body shot from Galani. He's quick for a big man, is Alan Galani. That inside kick ducks under the left hook, clinches up. No clinching allowed in the kickboxing global rule set here at one super series. It's like he's dropping his head to possibly go in for a takedown. And that's where he's ended up in that clinch that the referee's warned about. How Big about that? The Andy Hook style X kick from Galani. Galani does have a background in Kyokushin Karate. The X kick is a trademark of the Kyokushin Karateka. The likes of Andy Hook, Claube Feitoza, Francisco Filio. And we saw it there from Alan Galani. Mawashi Getty roundhouse kick off the lead leg from Galani. Good jab two from the Cameroonian. Got to get out of the corner. Here come the heavy hands from the Moroccan Kababes. Throws the knee. Kababes unloading. Doesn't want to let Galani out of the corner here. Galani, jab two, kangaroo down the center corridor. Jab two again. Uppercut. Kababes with the knee. Galani's got to get out of the corner now. Kababez is throwing some serious heat right in the corner. He's, Galani's got to be careful when he's dropping his head, trying to create head movement. Kababez is throwing that knee right up the middle. Galani goes to the body. Kababez has had the high up put with the hands. He tags him again. We go to the tag. Now, once again, we've got three judges ringside. They are scoring on a 10-point must system, which means give the winner of the round 10 points, the loser of the round, nine points. If you think Galani won it, you give him 10 points. You give Kababez nine. If you think it was vice versa, Kababez gets 10, Galani gets nine. In my opinion, Mitch, with the flurry that Kababez had in the corner here against Galani, it's a 10-9 round for Tarek Kababez. Galani looked good for those first couple minutes of that round. He was moving quite well. He was landing the kicks, but Kababez turned it on in those last 30 seconds to steal the round away, landing some huge, thunderous shots. Do you see anything here, Mitch? The fact that Kababez is standing, Galani's taking a seat. He is 42 years old. And he's stacked with muscle, like you said, the seafood platter, Michael. He is stacked, and that, all that muscle eats up a lot of oxygen. But we've said that about him in the past. And in his last match against Ar Ar Arumbled, he looked fantastic and went the distance. The size of the chest there on Galani, it should have its own zip code. Here we go, second round of three. If there is a knockdown in the round, and the other opponent does not achieve a knockdown of his own, it'll be a 10-8 round. Kebab is coming forward strongly with her hands again. Let's see if Galani starts to wind with the spinning hook kicks, maybe goes to the liver, maybe goes to the jaw. Accidental groin strike there on Galani. Kebab has immediately knew, threw up his hand as just a way to say, I'm sorry, apologetic. But it also gives, if there is a little bit of fatigue settling in for Galani, a little bit of time to catch a breather, relax a bit. 
Let's take a look here and see if we can determine what exactly happened with this accidental groin strike. The Barbers comes forward, throws, okay, it was an inside thigh kick designed to hit the inside right thigh of Galani. It missed the target and caught Galani square place where you don't want to be caught apology from kebabes it was not deliberate nothing malicious in it and there will be recovery time here as much as three minutes for alan galani how do you see galani going so far in his return to kickboxing match a four-time world champion who has played his trade of late in the global rule set in the cage. We've seen him primarily in mixed martial arts events, and you can see that Cabanez is not scared to strike and stand with him. Most of these guys are timid to exchange like this with Galani, but Cabanez is not scared at all marching forward, throwing those heavy hands. Dutch style Moroccans, they are not scared of anyone. You're talking about a pedigree that includes the likes of Bada Hari. These guys come forward and they come forward hard and nasty as Tarek Yababes is doing again here. We recommence in the second round. Axe kick from Galani. Once again, channeling his inner Kyokushin, the martial art, the hardest form of karate that he began his career in. Trying to utilize that jab, create a little bit of space, but Kababez is trying to corner him. He's trying to cut the angles, so he's trapping Galani inside the corner, but Galani's moving around very well. This is a very large ring here at One Super Series, and both of these big men are traversing a lot of ground. How about that? The elasticized legs of Galani. Another attempt at axe hit. What you're trying to do with the axe hit is to bring the heel the hardest bone in the body down on the collarbone or on the nose or on the forehead of your opponent. Galani's having a little more success as southpaw. He switched to a southpaw stance with his left hand back and he's utilizing that right jab more successfully. Kebabes who has had to travel the longer distance to get here all the way from the Netherlands to be here tonight. Galani, it was only a 45 or 50 minute ferry ride from Hong Kong. The referee has given Galani a warning for, to avoid the clinching. It's a little bit of a spill over there from Galani's MMA career. But in that his natural instinct in recent years has been to move in close and clinch up with opponents. Good outside leg here from Kababe. And Galani off the road for that powerful right hand. But I also think it's his head movement. You can see Galani circles out in the head. He moves his head out, and then at that point, uh, Kababez closes the distance, and they end up in the, the clinch. But it, I don't think it's purposeful. I don't think he's trying to clinch. His hands are down. It's hard to clinch with your hands down. Kababez looks for that bolo punch. Goes for an outside leg kick, trying to tenderize the legs of the big Cameroonian. Uppercut again went higher than the ceiling. Referee breaks them. See, it's just that head movement that he's that he's ending up entangled. Go, go. Galani on the back foot, throws another exit, needs to be on the front foot a little more here, does Galani. The Barbers, the outside leg kick, he has taken on and beaten some very good names, Tariq Barbers, over the years, including Roman Cricklier. Of course, Alan Galani in his kickboxing days went into battle against the likes of Bob Sapp, against Carter Williams, against Michael McDonald. Here he is, two rounds deep with one remaining. He's returned to kickboxing, and there is the Kyokushin axe kick from Alan Galani. It is spectacular, though ineffective so far. I'm going to put you on the spot, Michael. You gave the first round to Kababez. How did you see the second round? I think a much closer round, a difficult round for the judges to score. If I was going to edge it, though, Mitch, I've got to go Tarek Kababez again. A very slight 10-9 round. I feel Galani is backing up a little too much for my liking. Doesn't look good to the judges scoring here ringside, and Kebabes is landing four hands. While we have seen Galani do the spectacular stuff, it hasn't landed for him yet. It hasn't had an effect on Tarek Kebabes. He's going to start to take his toll on Kebabes with one run remaining. Three minutes only, Mitch. And the spectacular techniques do score slightly higher. So let me explain. Ten point must system. I gave the first round 10-9 Kebabes. I gave the second round 10-9 Kebabes. My scorecard goes 2018 Kebabes, which means to even the score, Galani needs a 10-8 round, needs a knockdown round on Tarek Kebabes. 
Now, fans at home, Michael Cervello is not a judge. He's just pretending to be one on TV. <laughs> Outside leg kick from Galani. Good jab to overhand right there from the Cameroonian. Oh, Kababes looks at the power in the right. High left roundhouse kick from Galani. Double forearm guard blocks the kick. Oh, counter from Kababes. Galani drops the head. Kababes doesn't clinch up. Referee Una, he breaks them. I like those two question mark kicks he threw, and then he went to the body. Oh, no! Galani's wobble. Galani momentarily turned his back. Referee, though, didn't see it as a chance to put a count on him. Kababes comes forward. Here's the left hand from Kababes. There's the uppercut. Goes to the body. Now toe to toe. They juke it out. Kababes wins the battle. Backs him up with the right hand. Got to get out of the corner here. Galani takes a knee. He's lining up the right hand. Take a look at the power here, the volume and power. There was the right hand of the jaw. That's what did the damage. And then he finished off. Alan Galani, Kababes, one Super Series debut, will take the win back to the Netherlands and Morocco. Let's go to Dominic Lau to make it all official. Ladies and gentlemen, after one minute and 49 seconds in the third and final round, here is your winner by way of knockout, Tari Kababes! A fantastic victory for Tari Kababes of Morocco. And there's a VIP moment showing the values, the inspiration, the passion of one championship. That's one championship pinnacle of power from Macau, China.